welcome to Time to Play Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of ECW. This is Ron Moore, and yeah, man, uh, this is also like a long time no play. Because I haven't played this game, I think, since 2002. That's the last time I sat down, played this game all the way through, beat it on extreme, and got all the doll tags. I was dedicated to conquering this game, and I did. That's something I never did in the original Metal Gear Solid. Swindoll introduced me to Metal Gear Solid, and he started playing this game as well. And he brought it over to my apartment, and we played this game, and he, be he, he beat this game before I did. And so when I needed help, I came to him, and he helped me get through this game. But I also had a player's guide, which I don't think I could find anywhere in my closet. It's probably my car, my trunk still when I moved over the years, but yeah, I freaking love this game as well, and I don't remember, I mean, I remember it very well, but at the same time, I don't remember how to play it well. It's been so long, and I'm probably going to fail a lot here in the beginning of the game, uh, but it's still a freaking ECW game. A lot of people did not like this game as much as the first one. And I'll get to that by the time we get to part two of this LP. But this is an ECW game, to say the least. Paul Eiding. ECW. Yeah, Jennifer Hill and Cam Clark, of course. I think this game actually came out in 2001. But I did not get to play it until 2002. intro. This game is so much more of a movie than it is a game, and you'll find that out as this LP progresses. Alright, so here we go. Finally, the title screen. That epic intro. A new game. Memory card enabled here. I think see, I don't even know what button to push to get it started. I haven't played this game in so long. I hit start. Oh, I gotta hit circle. Okay. On star normal. I don't even remember what's the difference here. Radar does not appear during intrusion view. Radar appears even during. Yeah, let's pick that one. The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. The whole thing stank. Graphics still look great here today for PS2. I freaking loved the PS2, and this is one of those games. This is one of the games that I played a lot 
on this system. Along with the SmackDown vs. Raw games and Capcom vs. SNK2. Good times with this system. Yeah, this game looks like it's aged pretty well in terms of graphics. And the gameplay, yeah, I would say it aged pretty well too. The story, I don't know about that so much, but we'll get to that later in the LP. But yeah, I haven't played this game since, like I said, man, it's been over 15 years. So it'll be interesting to see how quote unquote good I am at this game. It'll probably be a lot of fails, but that's what makes my videos entertaining, I guess, watching me fail. I'm pretty rusty this game. Whoa. Stealth camouflage. <laughs> now my controller's vibrating. I f forgot about that. I wish you could use the stealth camouflage in the game. That'd be so cool. You kind of can't do that in Goldeneye if you cheat. Is this the Terminator now? Oh boy, he's right on schedule. Oh wait, Otacon. I mean Otacon, Ocelot. Here we go. Soon enough. Thanks, snakes nice spot already. Probably because the freaking stealth camouflage. Not working here for some reason. What do you do? Turn it off? on his neck oh talking to codec this is snake do you read me otacon loud and clear snake kept you waiting huh i'm at the sneak point everything going okay mm, stealth camo's busted landing impact we must have overused oh it. that's what happened sorry but you're gonna have to deal with it you're not in the military anymore okay right. small time you want i didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway the private sector's not so bad is it privacy guaranteed I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. 
A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't Terror. worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Lunatic fringe? All right, let's look at your gear. Metal your Gear? is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenger well, mission sight. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment, Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men... You wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? Oh, what's going on here? You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. Right. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. K60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer whale.
We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Dang Call it. me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. All right, here we go. Ah, check. Ah, wait. Man, it's been so long since I played this game. Let me see if I can remember where to go, how to equip my items, all that stuff. Oh shoot, there's a guard. What is that? What's a bandage? Oh dang, I'm gonna get caught already. Oh man, that was close. Alright, sneak up, sneak up on it. There we go. Nice. Pick him up, drop him. Dang, he didn't drop anything. By doing that, you can make them drop certain items. Oh, what? Oh, Otacon. Snake, go through that door into the ship's interior. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until the door opens before letting go. If you need to open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Make sure you keep doing it until the door is open. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it, I stopped too soon. There we go. <laughs> Deck A, cruise quarters, port. That's right, I can read Japanese. Not really, but anyway. Alright. If I remember, let's see, okay, it has a ration, the other locker don't have anything in it. Let's see if this does. Nope. Oh, it's a guard right outside the door. Better not make too much noise, I'll come in here. I don't remember if I have still the player's guide to this game or not. Alright, M9 ammo. Love this music. Sneaky tactical espionage action music. Alright, get him, get him. Oh dang it! Oh, oh! Okay, I got him. Oh, that's close. That's the lounge. Come on, man. I just want to get something to eat. I think I should go down here rather than the lounge. Stun gun. Engine room. All right. Raven. Oh, yeah. I remember this. It's not really Raven. It's just a freaking... Um, action figure raven and you can shoot it and make it come to life so to speak oh shoot be quiet don't make no noise don't want a freaking guard to hear me or hear you whoa oh jeez Stephen Regal's dead oh no oh that was that was not creepy at all all right, let's go let's see if there's anything in this locker. Nope. All right. Ah! Got to get the USP gun first. I totally forgot how to get that. I guess I got to get it from one of the guards. Whoa! Oh, get out of here. Oh! EC dub. EC dub. 
No, go. Don't go out the door, you idiot. Don't lean against the wall. Okay. Oh, shoot. He's going to find out what's going on. Oh, no, he's not. He's coming back. We come right here. Perfect hiding spot. I remember this spot. Perfect. You can scare somebody like that in real life. Just go, boo! Mess with them. All right, time to put this guy to sleep. Oh, shoot. What? Damn, one of those guys woke up that I knocked out. Dang it. Now I better really stay in here for a little while. <laughs> Man, this is so suspenseful whenever you're hiding and you're in caution mode and you're trying to make sure they don't find you. You can hide in lockers, hide right there, hide in a box. I remember a funny story where I was working with, oh shoot, wait a minute. Oh, he's going to kick him awake. <laughs> I remember a funny story, this restaurant I worked at years ago during the time where this game was popular, this game was still fresh. Um, oh shoot, don't, no, no, oh I thought it was going to find me. Someone hid in one of those, in a big box, where it was a, a big box where we got an order of uh, styro styrofoam cups. Enemy and, what? Send replacement guard to the area. Oh dang, I guess they found uh, another one that was knocked out or killed. Dang it, now I got to wait here longer. Anyway, well, it gives me more time to tell my story that I'm trying to get to. So, one of the big boxes that we got, which contained a shipment of styrofoam cups, um, he hid in one of those boxes. And then, w when uh, one of our co workers went out there, he jumped out of it and scared him. <laughs> like, bra <"Bravo!" laughs> and scared the crap out of him. It's freaking, freaking funny. And then. There's another time it was a double cross where we said, hey, he's out there trying to hide in a box. Go out there, pretend like you don't see him, and then just run up and tackle him in the box. And so he did just that. It was freaking funny. All right, so this is almost over with here. As long as don't don't make any noise, they won't find me over here. All right. Thing that scares me right there when he comes down, when the guard comes down right there, I keep thinking they're gonna find me. They can't see me. They have to really see me go in there to know that I'm in there. It's dark. You cannot. Well, they got flashlights too. All right. Situation is normal. Let me knock this guy out again, or just kill him. Yeah. Go to sleep for good. They'll teach you to snitch. shoot gotta watch their patterns all right <laughs> go to sleep hey man do these guards have anything Ooh, a ration I think I got two of them now Oh shoot, there's a guard. Dang, can I put him to sleep from here? I stand still. Dang it. Fail. Got him. Oh, wait a minute. He's still, he's still up? No, oh, no, that's just a flashlight. All right, see if he's got anything here. Come on, man. Y'all got to have something. Okay, that was for nothing. Let's go back. Oh, oh, shoot. 
He's asleep. Oh, no. Dang it. All right, get him, get him. Nice. Oh, come on. You better have something. Man, you guys are lame. Y'all some hot rollers. And y'all broke. Take their dog tags. Why are you tripping, Debo? Shut up, I knock your ass out. Man, it's messed up, man. Why don't you get back his dog chain? What dog chain? Yeah, but dog chain. Right, Grandmama gave me that dog chain. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Ah, oh, fail. Jeez. Shut up. We're going to try to stitch on me. But dang it, they heard him talk on the radio. Dang it, here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, the back of unit. They're coming right around the corner. Oh, man, I can't drag him in there with me. There's not enough freaking room. Of all the dark spots, that one don't have enough freaking room for me to drag somebody in there. Oh, man, they're going to find him. Then they're going to see me. Oh, he's going to see me. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. What? Ha, they didn't see or hear that. Oh, now they hear it. They're coming back. Now they're going to see him. Dang it. Oh, they're going to see me, too. Here we go. Oh no, ah, oh, they got me. Dang, I'm in trouble. Oh, nice, get out of here. Oh man, I gotta find a place to hide. Oh good, go in there. Close the, there we go. Man, jeez. I'm afraid to talk right now during commentary because I'm so nervous about them hearing me. Man. And your heart beats faster too when they get closer to you. Jeez. Man, I can't just imagine being in that situation for real. Man. Alright, we're in caution mode here. Not ECW mode. I'm not cheating in this LP. I'm gonna do my best to beat it legit. Snake, wait, don't move. I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right, and they're linked to. Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. If you trip the sensors. I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but. There are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But your M9's knockout rounds won't work. Find a gun somewhere. All right, yeah, if I could find that gun, I forgot where. All right, so I can't take out those beams yet. I gotta be careful. Oh, man. Yeah, like I said, I gotta be careful. Still in caution mode here. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, I don't think the door will open under caution mode. Alright, good. Back to normal, so... Making sure they all go back to where they're supposed to go before I move around. Nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. Y'all just had an alert. Oh, wait. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. Oh, shoot. Here he comes. Let me hide again. Welcome to Hide and Go Seek for the PS2. Shoot. Listen to my heart. Man. And that snake that's getting nervous in that locker. Imagine someone normal like me. My, I probably have a heart attack. Alright, let's get out of here. See if I'm going to get past this guy. Put him to sleep. That's what I'm going to do. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Well. Oh, did he leave? I'm confused. Okay, I don't think he's coming back over here, so I better just move along. Dang it. I'm trying to remember how to cancel your shot instead of just wasting a bullet like that. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Keep hoping this ammo from the M9, but gotta get the freaking USB first or whatever the heck it's called. Alright. <laughs> See? <laughs> Alright. Oh! Oh, sh oh, he's asleep. Yeah, he's about to be put to sleep for good. Thank you, it's about time. One of y'all had something. <laughs> go to sleep. There you go. Good boy. Oh, shoot. There's a guard coming. I can't go that way yet. Oh. Or can I? I'm probably going in circles here. Yeah, I think I do need to go back to the door. Oh, dang it. Come on. No. Man. Don't get spotted. Ah, dang it. Oh, shoot. There's something. No, there's nobody there. Shut up. Mind your own business. Oh, shoot. There's a shadow. You're fighting shadows here. No, I meant to choke him out or break his neck. There we go. Nice. Oh, come on. Well, at least I got something earlier, a ration. I think on normal, you get five rations. Very easy, you get like seven or ten. I think very easy, you get ten rations. Easy, you get seven. Normal, five. Hard, three. And extreme, I guess one or none. I forgot. I can't believe I beat this game on extreme. There was a lot of dedication right there. Jeez. Uh, never again. I don't feel like going through that again. I just want to beat this game on normal. It's going to be a heck of a time getting through this game on normal without cheating. I mean, it's been 17 years since I played this. Uh, there's another locker. Chaff grenade, nice. Dead end, nice. Oh, shoot. Of course. Savannah's camera. Oh, get that guy. Go to sleep. Ah, oh, dang it. Hit him. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, look at this, man. These Marines. They just wanted to get something to eat. And they get killed. Let's see what's cooking in here in the kitchen. Ah, oh, nice. Another ration. Come on. Alright, nothing else in here. Let's get out. Oh, what is it? Snake, there's another set of infrared sensors in place. 
If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you wow, can I just thought of something. Setting off the explosives. Christopher Randolph sounds exactly a lot like Skip Rogers. You can use the usual method. Just keep listening. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. All right, so yeah, you don't have to take out the uh, machines or, or take out this guy first. There we go. Um, yeah, because I can't anyway. I can't take out the thing. So let's see the... Alright, there's the beams. Yeah, I can just crawl under this. Alright, there we go. Let's see if he has anything. Of course not. Alright, moving on. Oh, cutscene. Guys, don't play. They're on their guard. That'd be funny to trip down the stairs right there. Get to the chopper! Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... <gasps> oh, shoot. What is that? Who is that? Hmm? 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 Is uh, somebody there? Let's find out. Well, of course they're there. We've seen them, but let's see who it is. Shalashashka has landed. I'm on my way to the tanker holds. Report your status. Control room, communications, and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker holds secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen. Once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with a unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now. Damn it. Hands 
hands over your head. Now! Toss your gun overboard. Slowly. Alright, now this is going overboard. A woman. Show your face. <laughs> so sexist. You men. You're A all woman? the same. Who are you? Oh god, girl of the bitch. We are nomads. Wanderers. I said don't move. Americans. So you shoot women too. I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. It stopped me. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. Whoa, that's a gun and a knife and one. And that brings our duel to its conclusion. Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. We'll see about that. All right, the first boss battle. Olga Gulugovich. See if I can remember what the heck. Man, jeez, like the way my aim. Look at that. With the unit oh. since I was Shut born. up, I'm trying to aim I at you. Up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. I thought Sergei was your father. Shut up. Alright, so I am so used to playing Goldeneye. That I'm I'm my aim is just so off here. I keep thinking of Goldeneye action here, the way I aim my gun, all that stuff. Oh man, I just wasted that bandage. Come on, I better, yeah. Keep my rashes equipped right there. There we go. I'm bleeding to death. But I have my rashes equipped. Alright, let me take out that light. I think that light, if I take out that light, I think it makes it harder for her to see me. Well, it should, and it gave you a clue there too when you show the light real quick when she was talking. Oh shoot! Run! How can she? She see me through that? I guess she knows. I don't know. She's just a skilled soldier. Whoa! No thanks. Come on, get her! There we go. All right, I think two more shots should do it. All right, here we go now. Two more shots, that'd be it. Ah, oh, she's getting tired. She's getting sleepy. Come on. All right, one more, one more. Dang it. There we go. Now, ooh, she would have had me too if I didn't have a ration. Oh, nice. I could use that gun. Now we're talking. Huh? Uh? Whoa. A drone before there were drones. Cypher. Cypher. Try to decipher that. Otacon, 
The ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not gonna be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous. A Skip Rogers you tip? Trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh, I have a younger sister, a stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? E. E. Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. E. Emma? Emma? E.E.C.W.? Yeah, it just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marines M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Alright, so now i got to find... Well, yeah, there's ammo everywhere. I found them earlier, but I couldn't use them, obviously, but I can now. Alright. Yay, my first dog tag of the LP. And don't expect me to get all of them. Because I, uh... Yeah, man. Oh, dang it, I just... I realized I just skipped over a ration. I forget it. I'll be alright. Um... Yeah, this is not be 100% run, so don't expect me to get all the dog tags. But anyway... I think it was in... Metal Gear Solid 3... You go to their Konami website at the time, and before the game was released, you can put your name in there and see if you can be one of the names selected to be on the one of the doll tags in the game. Oh, shoot. My name wasn't chosen, but that's okay. Unless it was, and they never told me about it. Because I've never played that game, so I don't know. But, uh, no, I'm sure they would have told me about it. But that would have been cool to have your name on one of the doll tags in a Metal Gear Solid game. That would be freaking ECW. All right, so where should I go now? Oh, nice cardboard box. And I told that story earlier about the car cardboard box prank at my old job years ago. Uh, the guard's waking up the other guard. What? Oh, shoot. Well, now's a perfect time to use the box. What's that? Just... Oh. Stay right there. Alright, get him. Put him to sleep. No! Put him to sleep! Grab him. There we go. Oh, come on, man. I guess I'm very easy. A lot of the guards have a lot of stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Get him. Dang it. Enemy sighted. Requesting backup units. Freaking snitch. Oh. Double KO. Oh, nope. Go, go in the... Go in the freaking... Uh, walking refrigerator, wherever that is. 
Jeez. Of course, they see me go in here. There's no way I can hide, but I want to see if I can still hide. Ah, it's too late. I should have hid over there. Next to the same Snake, type of boxes. Get yourself out of sight now. Enemy search parties are on the way. It's a clearing. These aren't sentries you're dealing with. They're searching for you, and they know you don't want to be found. I've it been searching for me, to for you. It. Make sure you're completely hidden in some place they wouldn't think of searching. Man, I'm feeling a little boxed in. They know I'm in here. Stop. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, they found me. I guess not. What? That's weird. Dang it, they got me. Dang it, they got me! Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, this will help. Let me get out there with the box. <laughs> Maybe she just ran to those infrared beams to just take us all out. Invasion mode. All right, I'm hiding this locker. No, go, go inside the locker and close it, you stupid idiot. Oh shoot, that was freaking close. Man, wow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to hang out in here for a little while. That, man, that's... Jeez. <laughs> I was hiding in that box. If I would have hid that box that I have, there's two other boxes in that room that are the same. They're matching. If I would have hid right there, they probably would not have found me. Did they have boxes in part one? I don't remember. Attack team, come back at once. Guard team, stay alert. Guard team, stay alert. Man, that was a close one. I let this douche go by. I think it's safe. Shh, don't slam that door too hard. Get him, get him. Nice. Oh, all right. Nice. Another bandage. All right. Let me go up here. Ah, dead end. All right. We got this door. Oh, back outside again. I don't think I need to go out here. Whoa. Take him out. Oh, 
go up here, see what's up here. Take him out. Come on. Dang it. What? Oh, shoot. What? No, Tom, man. Dang, I'm freaking lonky with these controls. Like I'm drunk. M9 bullet. All right. I need a US, USP bullet, though. Let's go back in the ship. Ah! That's a door that don't work. Go to ah, dang it. Go to sleep. Nice. I think I took him out earlier. I don't know if he has anything. No! Unequip! I think he don't have anything. No, he doesn't. All right, just go back inside the ship. Ah, oh, dang it, that door don't work either. <laughs> This guy again. I thought I killed him, but I guess that's video game logic. Mm -hmm. They come back to life. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Nice, this is where I get the ammo for the USP and then destroy those infrared sensors. Oh, well, not yet. I could have probably went a different way, but to get there quicker, I forgot how. I know you can also get through that room, or to that room through here. <laughs> Kill these guys again. time I know what not to do and how not to get caught. Oh wait, I have to skip some ammo over there. Might be USP too. Well, there's, there's still USP ammo in that room I'm heading to. Take him out, be quick this time. No, oh, it's... Oh, no, don't get caught again. Jeez. There we go. I right, get the ammo. Nice. I don't shoot the actual bomb. I shoot the machine with the green light. There we go. One down. Alright, there it is. Don't mess it up. Nice. One more to go. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot that. Just to make sure I don't run to the beams. Jump right down the middle to avoid the beams. There we go, alright. Good. 
Real progress here. Let's get going. I love the stealth music. Arizona Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. That guy has no idea what's going on. Man, if it wasn't for that radar, I wouldn't be able to see that guy. It's freaking dark. Alone in the dark looking. That's another one. What? He's jamming out. Oh, sh. Ooh. Wow, it was close. Now I gotta learn how to unequip without. Or uh, how to cancel. That's what I'm trying to figure out there. Alright, more USP bullets. Nice. Well, who's that? Nice. Nothing to oh. That got nothing to report. He was falling to sleep off and on. He could have seen me right there. Alright, maxed out on those. That's good. Dang it, that's not good. Let's see what's this way. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Take a shot every time I said, oh, shoot. In this video. Also under our control. We're on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Oh, yeah? Let no one down into the holds until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. Freaking brown noser. Yes, sir. place to hide. That box ain't gonna help me either. Who goes there? Oh shoot. I go there. Let's go. Alright. I know my aim is bad, but jeez. Oh, Gotta do my best here. Ah. I think I got two of them now. For the lights. It's not going to help you, buddy. I'm bleeding right here, too. Damn, right when I was reloading, he shot me. On my last ration. Oh, perfect. Dang. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got one more ration. Nice. Hurry up. Equip it. Equip it. All right, all right, just take him out. I'll just fight him. At this point, it's easier just to... Oh, no, don't load your gun. Fight him. Just kick him. Knock him out. This is two of them left right here. Come on. Oh, man. Oh. My last ration again. Jeez, that was close. Whew.
Oh, there's another soldier behind you, Snake. Behind you. Lot. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Ah! Oh. No, he's not with the Colonel. Ocelot is a cold-blooded character. Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. The current state of nuclear... If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. We're in a boatload of trouble. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. All right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Hashtag Could Dark Squad. something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. 
Sounds like Rambo First Blood Part 2. Just take photographs. That's it. At the moment, just photographs. That's it. All right, let me see First if I can remember how to get to Metal Gear. Without getting spotted by the freaking Marines. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the Dang, hundreds I better go around. of thousands of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature. And put this guy to sleep. The Navies. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. <laughs> It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail... Oh, damn, I remember I gotta walk project. softly on that metal floor. That Come on, easy, tiptoe. There you go. Some say that the strategic importance... Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raid. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air backup. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is Oh shoot, there's someone coming. You think, gentlemen. Dang it, I got caught! Come on, Ran really? Ah. Oh. Snake, well, that's not respond. cool. Snake, snake. I can't respond, you idiot! I got caught. Aren't you seeing what's going on? Oh, let's do this again. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raid. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a Where's he at? But this project is vital. There he is. Oh, where's the enemy is sometimes oh, he's behind those boxes? Well, how did he get over there Always earlier? This weapon will render all other metal gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear Force will think twice about their nuclear strategy and the light what? Of military dominance spelled out by Ray. How'd they see me? I wasn't in their field of vision. Oh, I stepped in front of the projector like an idiot. Well, they don't show the projector's field of vision on the radar. That would have helped. Anyway, let's do this again. Snake? Snake! Fail. Alright, hopefully third time be a freaking charm. At least I don't have to start over at hole number one. All right, crawl. No, crawl. Oh, I thought I hit it again. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is. No, what am I doing? You backtracking, moron? Go back. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear. Can't wait for them to turn the other way. There we go. Strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world. Ah, oh, come on! Man, I was tippetoeing on that. Jeez. Snake, what's wrong? Snake? Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raid. The opposition crawl. There you go. You're a snake. Crawl or slither, rather. A lot of pressure from Navy brass, 
especially those with submarine and air backgrounds. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine. All right. Fourth time would be a charm, hopefully. Than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. Face the other way. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. There we go. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. Maybe I'll just crawl then. Jeez. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And I see the same thing over here. Will play a central role nope. in its military affairs. Hmm? No, 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 no. Hurry! Oh, that was close. Wow. Woo! Man. Alright, hold number three. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. Metal Gear. I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the oh, horror of I just take these pictures. Reward. I'm not a freaking photographer. As a father, I want to leave a better world have to get good here. Generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. No! The camera, you idiot! <laughs> It'd be funny if... Like, that, like he can't see me, but anyway... It'd be funny if, like, someone did turn around Let's and see the box. Oh, jeez. They're going to be moving around. Hurry up. Get a shot. There we go. Good. Now i got to watch out, though, because now they're going to be looking everywhere. Don't look over here. Oh, come on! How'd they catch me? Did they hear me, or did they... I guess someone looked over and saw me. Ah. Oh. All right, maybe fifth time be a charm. Snake, respond. Snake, snake. I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that that is my duty. Good. The National Missile Defense Program was initiated in the end of the 20th century, projected to completion in 2005. However, the NMD trial conducted in the year 2000 was a complete failure, and the success of the 1999 trials is now considered a chance happening. There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already what? attracting strong criticism from Russia and China. How the how's he not falling over asleep? Oh, he's asleep standing up. <laughs> the fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. All right, come on. Picture number two. All right. All right. This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease. Rest a little. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Don't get spotted again. Let's continue. President oh, slow down. forced the NMD proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Some say that it was a military interest with plans for the $100 billion program budget that actually arranged the legislative approval. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious, 
unlike the army's wreck. Oblivious? Oh, amphibious. Deep underwater. Move in undetected. There we go. Make its landing on any shore. Fail. It's on board. Come on now. Get the Marine, Marine Corps marking. Identifies targets with unerring accuracy. And takes them out with massive firepower. I don't think I got the Marine the Corps marking, weapon. but I got the front right. Oh, shoot. You all to think about what that it's a means. guard right there. Watch out. Ugh. I'll make sure he stays asleep. We have no, 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 no. Go back to sleep. There you go. Planning to target the ship. There it is. What? To the left. Oh, shoot. No. No, there's no way. Oh. Intruder in the back. What? Intruder to the right. There's no way they're seeing me. Intruder in the back. Who are they talking about? Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. You freaking douchebag. And will not give up rain. Jeez, man. That kept me on my toes. All right, let me submit what I have already to see what mistake I made. I thought I had the Marie Corps marking. M Marie. Who's Marie? The Marine Corps marking. Who's Scott? Scott Hall? Hey, yo. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Okay, first up. Okay, this works. It's a great front view. All right, nice. And the next one is... The other photo of the front works. You don't need to take another one. Oh, excuse me. Next up is... This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. Oh, so I did get that one. Okay, what am I seeing now? Oh, I don't think we can use this. Ugh. Next up is... We only need one good shot of the lettering. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Front right and front left. Okay. I thought I already did that, but alright, I'll just do it again. Oh man, I gotta go around these soldiers again. Jeez. Okay, well at least the time was paused right there. That's good. I wasted my time though because I got scared, thought I got caught or something. Alright, let's continue. Has been fueling a cottage industry in nuclear weapons since late last century. Add metal gear to the mix. All right, nice. The result is the renewed proliferation you see the world over. All right, I know I'm not done yet, but I wanted to see if just make sure that one works right. Looks like I have your photos. Now. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. All right. Let's see. This is good. All right. So now I just need a front left one. All right. Let's get that over with. You once lived in the shadow of the Doomsday Machine. This Metal Gear way can bring other Metal Gears under control and ensure that we never know that fear again. We, the Marines, will be the guardians of this peace. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray, after the Great Mantle. 
Our Ray has Make a sure he stays that asleep. nature never gave the Manta. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. All right, let's get this one right this time. It is an undeniable fact that there is a force at Good. work in our government and within the military. All right, just don't get caught, and then we're done. To suit its own interests, Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party, thwarting their plans, and guiding this nation back to its original path. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm receiving the images. The first image is... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. All right. All right, let's get the heck out of here. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear uh, The NWO? Ring. That is all. Dismissed. Excellent that? speech, my friend. Oh, shoot. Who the... Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. End of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called... Revolver Ocelot. Ocelot. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no, I'm taking it back. <gasps> oh, shoot. Golukovich. Nobody move. Understood. <laughs> He's still filming it. Gotta get that evidence. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. Man, if Rambo and Colonel Matrix were two of those Marines in there along with Snake, they wouldn't be able to take over the ship that easily. We're almost at the target. Get a move on. Sergey, go look a bitch. Man, things just got what real. What do you intend to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. 
What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. Yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Low. The New England Patriots? How's that possible? Ocelot. You! Have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Gerlukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! Throws his cape just like Bison. Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I try to stop. I mean, no one can hold Ocelot when it comes to a gunfight. See, look at that. Revolver? <laughs> Ocelot. Imagine him as a gunfighter in the West. He'd probably take out Clint Eastwood. And Dirty Harry. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet so are those to other Russian, swim for your life. Russian soldiers on his side? Or maybe they didn't want to try anything because... They knew he, they get shot too. Oh, there goes the cameraman. And the evidence. That's too bad. That video would have got that, that video would have gone viral. Oh yeah, I just noticed he has another arm again. How to get another arm? You could say he's armed and dangerous. Whoa, wait a minute. What? Who was? It's been a while, brother. What? Who are you? You know who I am. No way. Liquid. Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Out! Get out of my mind, Liquid! So that's how he has another arm. He stole Liquid's arm from his dead body and attached it to himself. Now it's possessing him? The 
price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm! Wow. That's freaking creepy. Ocelot took his arm. So we can have another arm again. Oh, he's drowning in his own sorrows. So Ocelot took Liquid's arm. So we can have another arm again. Two arms again. And now it's somehow taken over, uh, I guess the genes, the genome genes, whatever they're called, taking over Ocelot's body. And can take over Ocelot's mind. He has to fight to control it. That's, that's weird and creepy. It's a good story, though. Dang, he's got Metal Gear. He cannot kill Liquid. Well, he was dead to freaking Ocelot brought him back to life indirectly. It's just like Jason Voorhees. If people leave him alone, he'd be dead. Yeah, those bullets aren't going to do anything. Oh, he's got a Stinger Missile. That might do something. That was the stick of missile. What was that? Get the Golden Eye rocket launcher. He's turning around looking like, really, is that all you got? Ouch. That just made it mad. Those bullets made it mad. Yeah, wake up, Snake. We need your help, buddy. Metal Gear. Otacon, we have a problem. You're not kidding. Oh, that laser. Oh, he's slicing his way out of there. Man, this Metal Gear Ray is a beast. Makes the original Metal Gear look weak. Like Mecha Godzilla. Metal Gear. Dang, it's storming again. Storming again. Perfect timing. Proceeding as planned, sir.
Yes, at the location we discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's newsflash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Why, Trump? Uh, Trump wants to make Middle Gear great again. Oh, man. All right, well, there's the premiere of part one of my LP of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of ECW. And, man, can't wait for part two to see what happens next. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Ron Moore. God bless, and take care.